Now, I want to uh, move on to the next video uh, from um, the, the whole team who, uh, who were behind putting this um, pack file together. Um, over to you again, Mr. <laughs> Peace be upon you all. To the UHRC report review to call for new UN Human Rights Council resolution at the 46th session to protect human rights, justice and accountability in Sri Lanka with particular focus on victims and minorities. The report is a historical milestone relating to the human rights violations in Sri Lanka for the declared and undeclared war against minority, a historical perspective. I highly recommend it will widely helpful guide to anyone finding the fundamentals of grassroots what is happening to minority communities in Sri Lanka. The beauty of coordinated cabin of seven chapters by Mr. B. A. Kader must be appreciated because the report speaks about the entire population of Sri Lanka, including the hidden pages of violation against Malayalam Tamil. The report also discloses the history of centuries of rival movement development process since pre-independent periods to post-independent periods and till on dates. The report recorded approximately 500 attacks against Muslims with accurate evidence by the power forces, although the list is not completed. Racially motivated forced cremation mandate concerns the gross mistreatment of religious freedom the health minister had also misled the public and the government without an accurate reflection of available evidence. This is a serious offence that democratically elected representatives working together with racist power forces that have interfered with their myths and agendas against the democracy and the rule of law, they must be punished. But the reports speak about the judicial independence in Sri Lanka and the failure system of separation power, powers, inabilities and unwillingness of the state to persecute and punish the perpetrators of the crime. And therefore, the report evidenced Sri Lanka minority need a international justice. Reading the research Mr. Cater had accumulated and understanding the story uh, he wanted to tell with this report has been inspiring. Uh, it was a learning curve for me personally because I never proofread anything as big as this and also because uh, I knew little uh, or next to nothing about Sri Lanka. Um, when I learned about its history, its population and the various issues that engulfed the country, I became even more motivated to learn about it. And for Mr. Cater's research, uh, most of the issues we can see uh, are rooted from discrimination. And in today's world and age, it's important to value everyone's differences. We all share one world, you know, and this report digs into the long and dark issues that watered the seeds of hate and disdain. I believe this report will tell a very detailed story of Sri Lanka and its people. Uh, to show the roots of the cause and what can be done uh, to stop this uh, disturbing animosity that um, that's in the atmosphere. A lot of time has gone into this project and of course uh, there is always room for improvement like uh, all, all, all work but as of right now I believe uh, that Sri Lanka's story is told. <laughs> Bonjour, je m'appelle Soumia, activiste pour les droits de l'homme avec l'ONG UHRC, Conseil universel des droits de l'homme à Genève, dont le président est Muiz Wahabedin. Nous allons vous parler du Sri Lanka, qui en 2009 est sorti d'une guerre civile de plus de 27 ans, opposant minorités tamoules et gouvernements majoritairement singalais. 
La guerre s'est achevée par un massacre de milliers de civils et la constatation de violations des droits humains. On dénombre près de 2 millions de musulmans au Sri Lanka, soit environ 9% de la population sri lankaise. Le christianisme, lui, représente environ 7,5%. Selon nos recherches, nous avons pu relever des incidents à caractère discriminatoire et violent contre ces minorités religieuses. Depuis la fin de la guerre civile en 2009, au Sri Lanka, plus de 300 incidents contre la communauté chrétienne ont été déclarés et plus de 700 incidents contre la communauté musulmane. Nous demandons justice, réparation et vérité pour la liberté religieuse et le maintien de la paix au Sri Lanka. Merci. The UHRC in Geneva is glad to have been part in the forming and developing of this report, in which the aim is to inform others of the human rights abuses that have been occurring in Sri Lanka, both against Christians, Muslims, and other minorities in the country. More than 729 incidents against Muslims have been reported since 2012. And recently, with the COVID-19 pandemic, it has gotten even worse. We must take action to stop these abuses immediately.